Hi, this is Chandra, and this is my third attempt at the part two video that some people have been waiting on, on my mini album that I just completed. And I was recording the video, and I was planning on fast forwarding it, and then so that I could, you know, just speak through it or whatever, just rush through it, and I can't figure out how to fast forward it. So then I made another one just showing you how to make the spine and the covers. And for some reason that will not upload to YouTube. So I'm on a different mini album. So this mini album is a teeny bit different. But what I'm going to do is just show you how I make the covers and attach the pages um, to my album. Well, actually, I'm going to faux show you because I need to cover my uh, cover first with pattern paper and I'm not going to be doing that yet because I don't know what paper I'm using. So I have a piece of Tyvek here. It's about one, two, three, five inches and my covers for my book are six by nine and my spine is two and a quarter by nine. To determine the size of your spine take your hinge piece and look at the back of it and fold it fold it down so that the flaps are down and just measure across here so this is how I'm determining the size of my spine the covers of the book are just half an inch larger than my pages so my pages are eight and a half by five and a half so I'm making my covers nine by six which is really good because then you can get your whole cover out of one piece of chipboard. So that was pretty cool. I get my Tyvek at Office Depot, but I also have people at work um, save the express mail envelopes that we get mailed in, and then I just cut them in and use them um, for the spine. So all I've done to prep was attach um, my score tape where I needed it. So hopefully this video will help on any mini album that you're making because it's pretty versatile. Um, you just change the sizes to accommodate the size of your actual pages. So I'm just sticking this in the middle of the Tyvek and what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach each page like this to the Tyvek. Now I have the half inch score tape on one side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the quarter inch score tape over here just to give it a little bit more sticking power. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You don't actually have to do that. This is actually the flap of the envelope. So I'm going to go ahead and use that tape as well. I'm going to do this side first since I just took off the adhesive from the envelope. So now I'm just removing the tape backing from my cover and I'm going to place it on the tie vac. I'm going to make sure that my spine and my cover is even and I'm going to leave about a quarter of an inch gap between the two pieces. So I didn't measure it. I just eyeballed it. I've never had a problem with the spine by doing it that way. So now I'm just going to attach the right side the same way. And I don't know why I can't talk when I'm trying to lay it out. So this is the cover of your, your album. This will be the outside where the Tyvek is, and then you'll just cover it. You can wrap it with paper. Now, once you have it wrapped, you can, you can wrap it different ways. You can do a different piece of pattern paper on the cover and on the back, and then add another piece of paper like this for the spine, and then you just wrap it around. Or you can attach pieces of cardstock together with tape and you know just put score tape right here and then a, 
attach the pieces like this and then you can wrap the whole thing. So by doing that, then you're going to have a line in the middle of your spine, which is fine because then you can decorate um, your spine. So what you want to do is just place your album cover on your pattern paper and fold your edges up all around, all four sides. You're going to do that. Then you'll notice that there's a square in the corner. And what you want to do is you want to cut out that square. But do not get too close to the corner because then if you get too close when you're wrapping it, you're going to show part of your corner on the album on the front. So what I do is I go up about an eighth of an inch and then I cut out like this. And I cut that corner piece out so that when I wrap it, it covers the corner completely. So after you do that, you'll have your cover wrapped and it'll be wrapped all around. And again, I'm not going to really do it because I don't know what paper I'm using yet. I don't know. I don't want to have to make another cover again. So you'll have this wrapped and it'll be wrapped around and you'll tape it down. And then this is where you attach your hinge to. So you bring in your hinge and this is the hidden hinge, which um, Kathy came up with and she's from Paper Phen Phenomenon. And you can um, go to her website at paperphenomenon.com. I did do a uh, review of her tutorial that she did on the hidden hinge binding. The only difference is my gaps are three eighths of an inch instead of a quarter of an inch. So these are the flaps these two sides are going to attach to the covers. So I'm going to put this on my album and I'm going to center the flaps with the spine. I'm going to take my tape backing off and then I'm going to stick it down. Once I stick it down, then I'm going to take my album and just pull it up like this just to get the paper trained. And do it on both sides. Once I do that, I'm going to take off the tape backing off of one hinge at a time. Then I'm going to take my page, I'm going to open it up, and I'm going to stick my page on this hinge here. So with opening my page up, the hinge just fits right in there. And if it stops being frozen, Okay, so then I'm just going to stick it in like this. Once you stick it in, it's going to be like this in your book. Once you stick it in, then you're going to push the page down and flatten it out like this. And then that way, your pages will stay flat when you're in the book. So if you have any questions, feel free to message me and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. Bye.